Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today we're going to clean the DG number 2 oil mist detection system and I will show it to you on how to do this safely without causing blackout. So come and join me in this new learning. So the first thing that we need to do is to isolate the generator we are going to work with. The generator should not start at any given time. Then of course alarm will appear into the alarm and monitoring system. Then we can now proceed to the Graveneer oil mist detection panel. So, so the first thing that we need to do is to isolate the system. So just go to main menu. And then go to the engineer. And press enter. And enter the password. Here you will find all the things that you can do onto the system. But since we will do the cleaning, we will go to isolate. And then we'll use the engine. We'll go to the engine. Since we will all do the whole detectors. So for the DG number two, this is the engine 3 so we will go to the engine 3 now go to isolate and let's isolate the system now as you can see the system is isolated so and you will have this indication here now we are okay to remove the detector heads in this vessel once the oil mist detection system detects high oil content on the generator then it will shut down the running generator each detectors have a specific address So for this vessel, this engine has three detector heads. Since the system is now properly isolated, we can now remove the wirings on the detector heads. The indicating green light will be off and we can use now the Allen key to remove the detector head. We need to put an extra care in lifting the detector head as we might damage the small fan inside. I'm going to show you on how to dismantle this small fan and clean later. Now let's thoroughly clean this base by removing this oil. To remove the small fan, we need to remove the locking key. I use earbuds and glass cleaner in cleaning the LED light. Need to put an extra care in cleaning this area. Part of the maintenance job is to check the condition of the small fan. So let's connect the wiring to see the running condition of the fan. 
we need to blow smoke into this hole so that we can activate the alarm. And part of the maintenance is to check the cabling onto the terminal box. As you can see, there is a lot of dust into the box so we need to clean this area. So after cleaning all the detector heads, then we can now de-isolate the system. It is just the same process as what we did in the beginning. So in this panel, you can also check the status of the each and every detectors. Just go to menu, and then go to the engineer, and then just put the password, which is common for everyone. Then go to system status. Let's say, let's go to the detector. And let's say that the, the level. Let's go to. Let's just start with engine number one. So here you will find out the status of each detectors, the actual level of each detectors. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like and comment down below. Thank you and see you on my next video.